Hi everybody, it's Susan. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. Just wanted to share a little something with you. Um, I've been having some fun making some of these really cute uh, rosettes uh, using the uh, Tim Holtz Alteration Rosettes die. Um, it's it's kind of cute and I, um, I've had it for a little bit and I really have not used it much and I thought that I would play a little bit earlier today and uh, try to make some of these flowers. Um, I've learned though if you use a lighter weight paper um, as you're folding it's it's extremely fragile so uh, the best thing to do is really use a heavier weight paper or possibly just uh, if you use lightweight maybe Mod Podge it and then make the flower. So um, once you're uh, putting it through uh, what you're going to need the other platform to go through for this as well. You can't use the regular platform. You need the, the longer one. Um, I should have had that to show it to you. Sorry about that. Um, at any rate, I used an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper uh, cut as narrow as the actual die. And what I did was is I decided to use a heavier uh, weight cardstock and I stamped the cardstock randomly with a flourish and a script stamp and a postal stamp as you can see there and that's what it looks like when it comes out but when you take it out you'll, you'll have this long strip that'll be perforated and you can just fold along the perforated sides and put your flower together there'll be another piece here um, that you uh, will also be punching out which will be the circle that you'll glue down to keep your rosette together um, honestly I'm not that fond of how that one looks but you can certainly uh, punch out any other kind of shape that you'd like to try whether it's that size or smaller or larger a scallop circle or a regular circle or a daisy uh, whatever uh, you like that would go on your rosette uh, that would match your project um, so I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I did with this homemade paper um, after stamping, I had um, used frayed burlap by a, a ranger and just gently um, sponged on the color so that it would change the color from like a light cream to kind of like a vintage feel, which that's my, my look. So this is what I had done. This is the first one. I really like the way that came out. Once the flower was together, I used the frayed burlap to um, etch the higher points of the flowers and all around the edges which really look pretty and I used a, um, a one inch circle stamp with some brown bezel paper and you can see the flip side here does not have the stamped image on it but you can very well use that and perhaps put maybe a button uh, with some um, you know some uh, material pulled through it or possibly having some um, uh, vintage seam binding hanging from it or piercing a hole through it and pulling it through many different ideas possibly painting it or using some sparkles but um, I'm going to be making a project and these will fit really nice on that so I wanted to share a couple of them that I made with you here's a, another one with a one and a half inch scallop punch in the brown uh, bazille paper using the stamped image that I had made for the center circle left just plain the way it is um, and you can see the other side that is has all the stamps on it uh, that looks really pretty it's kind of a vintage feel and I just I love the way that came out and um, yeah you can use uh, a lot of different ways to make these rosettes here is some scraps that I had left on the, the uh, burlap paper just love that um, and also again you can see the frayed burlap here and you can use the next one I'd like to try is possibly some tea dye or the vintage photo or I may even dye my paper myself or use some mulberry paper or see I really want to play with these I want to try and make them um, a different size possibly layering them maybe using some lace in between so I'm gonna have some fun with that and then the last one that I tried this one's a little plainer it's just the one inch circle here uh, with the matching center uh, that matches it, the uh, paper that I made and this was just regular cream colored cardstock that I purchased from Staples in like a 50 pack and um, that was very inexpensive and just stamping them with um, stays on 
uh, ink and the color was timber brown um, and then the frayed burlap and just gently using a sponge once the flower was all together because I was actually coloring in the um, the hills of the uh, the peaks rather of the uh, of the rosette very pretty okay so that's my little project it was kind of fun I know it's a little different than the norm but I just wanted to share that with you and for those of you who do have this dye um, I really love to see what you come up with making your own papers sharing them with me um, um, I highly uh, I would love to see everybody come out and show me what they come up with as far as creating their own papers by using your stamps, using your pencils, your markers, your paints, and then punching out your rosette uh, using this alteration die and putting them together. So um, I can't wait to see what you come up with um, and share your ideas with me. I would really appreciate it and thank you so much for all of the comments. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Bye.